Okay guys, so we've got a Taylor Cut Films video and this is his image, it's not his typical style but I think it's a really cool style so I thought I would share it with you guys today and this is our image here and we're going to try to get a really moody, dark, kind of blue and deep greens so let's go about it and first thing I'm going to do is bring down the exposure contrast up highlights I'm going to bring right down shadows I am going to bring right up whites I'm going to bring up a little blacks I'm going to bring down and that's a very common theme that I've been doing if you guys haven't picked up by now is really dropping those blacks clarity so this is he always uses really soft looking images so really creamy and he always talks about creating a really dreamy look so we're going to drop our clarity by about 20 any more and it might start to look a little too too fuzzy and then just drop the saturation and onto tone curve so I'm going to leave the white point I'm going to create three points down here so I have extra control and I'm going to leave it there so move the midpoint a tad and moving on so on to colors a bit more towards that purple oranges a little towards yellow a tad greens was down a tad maybe and we're going to go on to saturation maybe bring down the saturation of the oranges just a little bring the yellows down and really bring down the greens so we've brought it down a hundred and you can still see a little bit of greens in there so don't be too worried about bringing the greens all the way down Drop the aqua. Blues up a little. And onto the luminance. So we're going to deepen a lot of these colors, especially the orange and reds. And the yellows and I just want to add a little pop to those greens maybe the aquas not many in there and so split toning sometimes it's really hard to know whether the blue is in the highlights or in the shadows and what you can do is just test them out in both but what I've found, I think his blues are in the highlights. There's a lot of blue in this image. The greens are on a very blue side. And then shadows. 
I think there's a lot of purple in this image. I don't know if you guys can see it, but especially in those shark shadows and darker areas, I'm seeing a lot of purple. Purpley, purpley blue. Mainly, mostly blue, but we'll add purple a little later on. Sharpening, I'm going to bring down as there's a very soft image. Going to come all the way down. And I'm going to put the slightest vignette on it. Is bringing it right into the middle. Feathering up as well. So it's going to be very very subtle and then I'm going to take it out of the highlights so the vignette won't affect the highlights grain, I'm going to leave the grain and dehaze makes it a bit darker and moodier and now I'm going to put some of that purple into the image into the shadows so that's what we've got so far I'm just going to check some of these colors and yeah I think we're looking pretty good maybe I'm gonna bring these yellows up a bit as we lost a bit too much green the yellows and greens affect each other quite a bit so if we bring up the yellows we're really bringing up the greens so pay attention to that I'm going to keep them there and now to enhance our image even more there's a few things I want to do so the first thing is grab a radial filter reset it by holding alt and clicking up here and just bringing down the exposure a bit feathering it out And then doing the same down here in this corner. Hold Alt, click Reset, and then just bring down the exposure. And when we look at it, it just looks black. It looks really black. So what I'm going to do is just reselect it. And I'm going to put a lot of green in it. And then I feel like it matches the rest of the image. Done. And I think that looks better. So he's done sort of something similar down here. I don't know if that's an actual object there or if he has put something there to cover up a lot of empty space so your eye sort of follows this path a bit easier maybe there was just a whole lot of empty space there and he just really wanted to frame the middle of the image a little better so that's what we did there but doesn't need to be done but just helps keep your eye in the middle when you take out your empty space so there's a radial filter I want to do up here Alt reset at all. What I'm going to do is really bring up those highlights and some whites. Nice and misty. And then our last thing, he's got this awesome really dark orange and red path and we can actually do that too by selecting the brush, zooming in a bit hold the spacebar if you want to move your screen and what we're going to do reset our settings and then there's a few things that's going to help us to create a really deep color so I'm going to up the warmth to get more of that gold I'm going to bring down the exposure to help get deeper colors
going to bring down those highlights as we just have a lot of shine on there. Kind of bring down the whites. It's not affecting it at the moment, but when we brush it, it will. Maybe bring up some of those blacks because those lines are going to be very harsh. Clarity, dehaze, bit of saturation. And now let's see how it looks when we brush it. So brush away. Don't make it too dark because it can be difficult to remove evenly. Make your brush smaller by using the bracket key. And you don't have to be perfect. I'm going to see how that looks when I zoom out. Before, after. Looking pretty good. There's a little spot here I really want to get. It was just a little bright, really standing out. So we got those nice, deep, moody oranges in that path now. I really like that. Got those really deep reds next to it. So looking at our before and after, and I think that looks really, really similar. Really, really good. So I'm going to save this as a LUT. But I'm pretty skeptical about this working on a lot of other images. So what I do, I just save all the LUTs I make and then I hold on to them for a while and if they don't work that well on some images for a while then I delete them and then after a while we just have a batch of really really good LUTs. So just save everything and then get rid of them if they're not working. So create moody green. So I reckon that's going to work really well on images like this. It's obviously going to work really bad on a beachy shot. Really dark and moody, so before, after again, and I think that looks, I'm really pleased with that. And thanks for watching, so make sure you give him a follow on uh, YouTube and Instagram, his links will be in the description, check them out, leave a comment, let me know if you guys really like this, what you want to see, and leave a, yeah, leave a like, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.